Welcome to the courtroom of Judge Anthony Williams. This is a case involving an entitled Karen and vandalizing someone's home. How will the judge handle this case? Let's find out. All rise. The Honorable Judge Williams presiding. You may be seated. Your Honor, this is the case of Johnson v. McDonald. Thank you, Nathan. Good day, everyone. Let's get started. Please bring in the defendant. Yes, Your Honor. Nice of you to join us, Miss McDonald. Oh, my stars. Out of all judges, I had to be paired with a black judge. Shut your mouth, Missy. I don't tolerate that kind of behavior in my courtroom. Now then, you've been arrested for racism, vandalism, and hate crimes towards the African American community. How do you plead? Not guilty. I should not have to go to jail for having freedom of speech. If they would have just left the country, this wouldn't have. Did I ask you to give a speech? No, I did not. You will speak when I tell you to speak. Now then, I call the first victim, Devon Johnson, to the stand. Mr. Johnson, I understand that you submitted video evidence to the court about the defendant's hateful comments to you. Yes, Your Honor. All right, let's play the tape, shall we? So, I see you saw my little present I left yesterday. So it was you who wrote that mess on our house. Seriously, what is your problem? That's just a reminder that you people aren't allowed here. This is the white country. Wow, just wow. You are just sick in the head. There's a thing called diversity, but obviously, that word is not in your vocabulary. Of course not. I don't believe in that stuff. You recorded me without my permission. I'll press charges on you. What did I just get through telling you? Don't test me today, Karen. Thank you for your testimony, Mr. Johnson. You may leave the stand. Next up, I would like to hear from the other victims. Rhonda and Michael Johnson, Devon Johnson's parents, please come to the stand. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, what do you have to say about this situation? So I was about to pick up my son from the store to school. Then I see this nasty woman harassing my son and saying racist things to him. That's how this whole thing started. Then hours after that, Devon called us and told us that she spray-painted an offensive message on our roof. I have a picture of it. I'd like to see the picture, please. Oh my. That's appalling. Thank you both for your testimony. Please return to your seats. Miss McDonald, before I announce my ruling, do you have anything to say? I just don't get why I'm being arrested. I'm entitled to say what I want, and feel how I want. It's a free country. It's called freedom of speech. And that boy was disrespectful to me the whole time. He should be arrested, not me. Those are your final words. Yes, it is. Well, if that's the mindset you want to keep, then let me say my piece. I'm just disgusted with you. You caused this family so much drama, and you show no remorse for it. Out of all cases I've dealt with, i never seen a satisfied racist like you. You also bullied a 14-year-old boy, and nearly burnt their house down. You hate black people so much you do something so stupid. I can't even look at you anymore. Here's my verdict. Karen McDonald, for racism, vandalism, and hate crimes, you are being sentenced to 25 years in federal prison. What? Are you serious? You're locking me up for having an opinion. You people are just... Make that 30 years for contempt of court. My life, get this entitled Karen out of my courtroom. Let me go. I don't deserve this. Case dismissed. Devon, how do you feel? I feel better now. Now my family can live happily without people like her. Thanks for calling the cops when you did. You know I got your back, right? If you're ever in trouble, you can always count on me. Come on, Devon. Let's go home. See you at school on Monday. Yeah, see ya.
Hey Devon. Hey Dad, just doing some homework. That's good. But I just came to tell you something. Words cannot describe how proud I am of you. You handled the situation great. You're really maturing into a young man. Thanks Dad, that really means a lot. But I doubt we'll be at peace for long. There are more like her out there somewhere. Yeah, you're not wrong. But at least we know how to deal with them now. Indeed. Well, I'd better get back to work. Jessica finally let me end this episode. LOL, but why does it have to be short? I want it to be longer. Can you just take us home already? Even the creator has a life too. Ugh, fine. I just wish some people would understand that they need to mind their own business, especially those racists, then the world will be peaceful. As opinionated as she claims to be, she shouldn't have tried to tear up our house. Moral of the story, everyone deserves love and respect, no matter what race you are. Okay, I just realized I'm bad at this, I'm going to eat.